Hello. Um, we're going to learn how to crochet today. So we are going to start with talking about yarn and hooks. Um, in crocheting, you always use a hook. This is a J size hook. Um, hooks range in size almost through the whole alphabet. The lower letters being a smaller hook, um, the larger letters being a larger around hook. There are also uh, steel hooks instead of the metal or plastic hooks. Um, and the steel hooks are much smaller and are used for crocheting doilies and um, bedspreads, things like that, with a, a really thin cotton. The other part that you need, of course, is the yarn. Um, a lot of yarn is, call, is a medium weight or a worsted weight. Um, you can tell how thick your yarn is by this little picture on the label. Uh, three or four is usually a medium. Five or six is a bulky, thicker yarn. Um, and the lower letters would be a fingering weight yarn, like a baby yarn or sock yarn. Most yarns will have what's called a pull skein. So when you start with your new skein of yarn, on one end, there will be a little piece of yarn sticking out and you pull from that end. That way, as you're crocheting, your ball doesn't roll away from you. Um, and as you pull, at first it might be a little bit tight, but then it is um, easier to pull as you go through your ball of yarn. So to make all crochet items, you have to start out with a chain stitch and you need a, I'm looking at the book while I'm talking, you need to start with a slip knot to be able to do your chain or your chain stitch. So I loop over, then you can use your hook and grab a loop. And it's good to leave a long tail. You can weave that in when you're done with your project. So you don't want your chain to be tight, but you'll tighten it up a little bit or tighten your loop a little bit so that it easily moves back and forth on the hook. Um, I hold the tail between these fingers and then well, we're going to change that. Um, I yarn, put the yarn over the hook, and then pull through. And I'll try to turn that over, but you're just going to grab a piece of yarn and pull it back through your hoop or through your loop. And then that is what your chains will look like. Um, and you can count your little ridges on the back. That's three chains. And that is your slip knot and chain stitch.